Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Neetika Kumar and I'm a physical therapist at the Cora Winter Haven Clinic. So today I'm going to be talking about how to set up your workstation at home. I know a lot of people have started working from home and so this video will just serve as a guide as to how you can effectively set up your workstation at home and reduce any risk of neck pain or neck injury that you can possibly have from uh, working at longer uh, hours at your desk. So Margie here is gonna demonstrate uh, or she's gonna be pretending that she's working from home and uh, a lot of people will probably have workstations that uh, where you cannot adjust the height of your desk. Um, so we're gonna use some you know, books and things like that uh, that are easily available at home to adjust the height of your uh, desktop or laptop and talk a little bit about what's an optimal posture for working. So as you can see, the screen here is a little bit smaller or the, and the height is also very low for Margie. See where her head is. And so she eventually will develop a posture where she will be looking down on the screen, so bending her neck and then making her shoulders a little bit rounded because she's probably will be reaching too far with her mouse and keyboard. So we're gonna make all those adjustments. So first we will try and put something underneath her mo underneath her monitor that will elevate that uh, height. So she is looking at the center of her screen and she can move to the whole screen without having to move her neck too much, uh, without having to develop that forward neck, head and neck posture uh, and developing that rounded uh, shoulders. The next thing we're gonna pay attention to is how far her mouse is uh, situated. So we don't want it to be too far where you're reaching with an outstretched hand. So like Margie has all her elbows straight, uh, straightened out all the way there. So I would recommend her to sit a little bit closer or move a little bit, move her chair a little bit closer to her desk and move the mouse a little bit closer to where she is so she does not have to reach too far forward and don't fatigue the muscles over here. The other thing about the keyboard as well, I would recommend her keyboard is a little bit closer to her so again, she doesn't have to reach too far forward while she's looking, um, working and looking at her monitor. Now, I would recommend her to take breaks. After every 30 minutes, do a little bit of stretching there and also, uh, you know, get out of that slouched posture, forward head and neck posture and correct her posture after every 30 minutes. I know that sometimes people are very busy with the meetings and cannot do that, but whenever you get a chance, at least once an hour, try and do that. The other thing I'm gonna talk about is the feet. So Margie's feet can reach the floor um, and they're well situated. So th at this time, everything is fine. Her height of the chair looks good. Now, if you can't reach, uh, if your feet cannot reach the floor, uh, maybe you are shorter, the desk height is too high and you have to elevate the chair, I would recommend that you use a step, uh, a small stool over there to put your feet up there so your hip and knees both are at a 90 degree angle. So this is what I wanted to talk about today. We will be posting a few more videos and we'll be talking a lot about the, the posture and stretches that you can do in our upcoming videos. If there are any comments or any questions, uh, you can post them on our website and uh, or this Cora Physical Therapy Facebook page and uh, we'll make sure that we answer all your questions. Thank you.